Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to play a little game called Can You Guess That Bird? I want y'all to take a nice long look at this picture and very quickly go down into the comments and tell me what kind of bird it is because in just a few moments we're about to find out. Psych, I gotcha. It's not a bird at all, you silly goose. It's a funny little monster that I drew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but for real though, it is a bird and it is a toucan and you're all right. <laughs> um, so I did share a couple of my practice drawings at the beginning of this video just to show you guys that like you don't always, if you're doing like digital art, you don't always have to dive straight into the digital art if you don't want to. If you feel like you want to draw in your sketchbook and get a feel for your subject, y'all go right ahead and do that because I mean it's just extra practice and it's good to like... I don't, well, it's good for me anyway. Sometimes I do that and I get my drawings down on paper. And once I got what I like, then I'd like to take a picture of it with my phone and then put it up into my um, my digital um, software. I use Medibang. And then, um, you know, just trace over it. And then you can also make any edits that you feel like you want to do once you've reached this part of the art process, you know? Excuse me. And I just feel like, you know, everyone does things in different ways. And, you know, sometimes it's good to change things up. And that's just what I did with this piece. Uh, so today I'm drawing my favorite bird. It's part of the Draw Your Favorite Bird Art Challenge. I don't know if I said that right, but I will have the correct hashtag in the title of this video. It was inspired by um, Dina Tollefson. She's the one who made the, the challenge. And she, just like with the snow art challenge, is going to find all the artists who use the hashtags. And she's going to share all their videos in the same playlist, including her own. She's an incredibly talented artist, and I enjoyed the last challenge. I loved seeing everyone's snow art pieces. And I ended up following quite a few artists and watched their videos regularly. And um, I like that we all got to connect through art in such a positive and amazing way and I'm excited to see what everyone's gonna do uh, for this challenge what everyone's favorite birds are I just watched um, a short video from Elf uh, he, he drew like um, some uh, red cardinals and blue jays and they were really beautifully done and uh, so I'm excited to share today with you guys my favorite bird Obviously, I just said it. it's a toucan, so I drew three different types of toucans. There's like 40 different species of toucans, so I had to go through quite a few different pictures before I chose some to draw. And these specific ones aren't necessarily my favorites because I don't have a favorite species of toucan. I just like the bird in general. I like their overall shape. I like their giant beaks. I like that they come in so many different varieties and they're just really fun, cool looking dudes, you know? And um, some of them just look really sweet and gentle and then some of them look like they will rip your face off if you get too close. <laughs> and I chose a nice variety because I wanted to show that aspect in my piece. I wanted to show you that all of those things. I picked a very common one, which is the Toko Toucan. You see him in the very front. He's the biggest bird in the picture. Um, he's like, uh, he's the most common. He's also known as like, uh, what is the thing I wrote down? Hold on, I'm gonna get my notes out. I don't script my videos, but sometimes I write notes. He's also known as the Giant Toucan, okay? <laughs> And then the one on the far left, that's the keelbill toucan. He's also known as the sulfur breasted or rainbow bill toucan. And then that angry looking dude in the back, that's the chestnut eared aracari. And I guess out of these three birds, he's my favorite if I was to pick one because he just looks so intimidating and so cool. He's like a velociraptor with a beak and feathers. He's <laughs> uh, he looked like he'd eat you for lunch if he wasn't careful. <laughs> but fun fact, he mostly just eats um, fruits and flower nectar and nuts and you know like bugs. Like he's he's a chill dude. <laughs> he just his his uh, bark is worse than his bite, so to say. <laughs> um, 
So the reason why I drew this layout the way I did was is because I wanted to give your eyes something to travel along to. So I made the Toko Toucan be the biggest bird because he doesn't have all these crazy colors on him. He's nice and simple and um, I put him real big in the foreground so that way if you're looking at this piece in the center with all the colors and it's really bright and it's kind of overwhelming you would have something to look away to to give your eyes a little bit of a break so that you can go back and look at the the details again you know just there, it, it makes the piece a little more interesting I feel and um, yeah and I also tried to work with like a flow so there's like a spiral effect going on from the tip of the toko's beak around his body up the rainbow builds into the center where the aracari is there's a nice spiral shape for your eyes to travel along to and you get the full scene there's a storyline being played here like um i really thought hard about when I was drawing how I was gonna lay this out and how I was gonna break up all of this green, you know? And uh, I chose like some big tropical plants and there's a blurred green background, but I picked these like bright, you know, pinky fruits to help break the green up. And um, I tried to pick some colorful birds and I put the aracari in the middle because he's got these like cool like blacks and reds and brown tones um, and then I also try to create a story so like here's good old Bill and he's holding these uh, mangoes and this scary <laughs> incredibly intimidating <laughs> bird just flies up out of nowhere and tries to steal his mangoes from him because he's a total jerk okay um, I chose that bird specifically to be the aggressive one just because he looks so aggressive and I'm stereotyping him. Maybe he's a real nice guy. Who knows? <laughs> um, yeah, I did get a little bit uh, of a creative liberty with this when it came to like, um, like the, the fruit in general. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that those are some actual, like the way some mangoes look. And maybe that ain't exactly the color juice that's going to be coming out of these mangoes. So I did take some artistic liberty with that. But, uh, and maybe with some of the plants too. But for the birds, I tried to be like anatomically correct with them. Um, and I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, oh, and I'll tell you what. One of my favorite things about that Arakari is when you're looking at his, at his chest, there's like some little splatterings of red there. Like a lot of the birds... In, of that species had like some red markings in their feathers and I just thought that it just added to his personality a little bit just definitely aided in the um in the fierceness of him he looks like he just really killed a man <laughs> so yeah the wonderful creatures beautiful birds um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. I hope I hope my funny little skit made you laugh in the beginning. Um, uh, I try to I try to make it a little more energetic because normally I'm just so boring. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you again to Dina. Uh, I'll be all having a great day. Uh, once again, I can't wait to see everyone else's art pieces. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Bye.